on one side of things is the way things are structured the way things are organized uh, but on the other side when these things actually hit the street hit the ground uh, in the form of you know protests and activism uh, placards even uh, there there is a sense of very misplaced priorities right so there is the, the kind of things sometimes some of these activists have been advocating for may not be something that people in india either need or really should be prioritizing so is there also a case of misplaced priorities when it comes to some of these activ- uh, activists i'll tell you something if a person want to if if a male want to become a trans woman if a male want to transition as a woman you know in this traditional hijra jamaat system jamaat is a place where they live together uh, the male who want to become a hijra need to pay at least you know 2 and 1/2 to 3 lakh rupees which is around 2000 us dollars at least 2500 us dollars at least which is a huge money even for people living in us so you need to do begging to pay that after you pay that money why are you paying it to them because your parents are not accepting and you're running away from your home and you know when you find you know kind of refugee or like kind of asylum with this group of people they kind of provide you shelter for which you need to give this money to them and they will allow you to perform this gender affirming surgery once you per- once you know they are allowing this person to perform the gender you know affirming surgery to this particular person who is transitioning as a woman trans woman um this person then they will be domesticating them to in and into prostitution and begging how many of this uh, you know so called oak activists you know or people with misplaced priorities know this i'll tell you what is misplaced priority first you know for example in india we have 15000 plus intersex infants who are born with sex reproductive system which cannot be easily classified as male or female so the doctors need to run through karyotyping test to understand the phenotype and genotype of the infant to kind of assign a sex to the infant in this due process the babies are made to undergo uh, you know um uh, sex selective surgery through which cosmetically the infants reproductive organ are you know made to look like um, male or a female it is happening everywhere in the world but we became the second country to ban such surgeries we are the first country to have a legal regime a strong legal regime to protect intersex infants and children the madras high court madurai bench has passed a wonderful judgment to uphold the rights of these intersex infants and children how many of this activists spoke about intersex infants and children who are vast in number and do we have a medical protocol do we have a regulated guidelines if we are going to you know go against up in arm against the medical practitioners then i you know it was impossible i would have not sat with the you know medical practitioners or the director of medical education and the health secretary and the other people to draft a government order to ban the sex selective surgeries in tamil nadu a state with 80 million population right so you know and and the other most important thing is that before 3 days a 14 years old boy left their home because the parents didn't want to accept the child but when this boy is going to jamaat the jamaat the, the hijra jamaat kind of made him to go for a begging initially but then like later on the day same night he was made to drink alcohol and then like uh, you know what a 13 14 15 years old child see in such jamaat is condoms physical relationship you know ensuring childhood for all children irrespective of their you know sexual orientation gender identity or caste identity or whatever identity it is that is important do is is this their priority no their misplaced priorities are kashmir is not part of india assam should be separated from india tamil nadu should be separated from india everything should be separated from india you know abrogating 370 is like a darkness for queer community you know the lgbt community in kashmir is struggling you know 
as if before 370 abrogation they had gay pubs and bars and people were dancing on the road there you know like stupidity at most stupidity it is like you know the point here is that their misplaced priorities have paved way for n number of anti hindu anti indigenous anti civilization groups to surrogate their ideas in india such delhi based organizations when you see queer muslim project this guy who is running this he was a mercy petitioner for ajmal kasam and people want to normalize terrorist narratives do the grand imam the grand mufti of sunni islam in india who is in in kerala will he accept this no he will not accept it because he denounces wahhabism because he denounces pfi like organizations he have his own problems to deal with the, the point i am telling you is that this people who are running the square muslim projects they have a huge connection with the uk based anti hindu you know groups which ran the protest in front of the embassy the way this funds are structured to several such organizations without without fcra through fiscal sponsorship for example if your organization have an fcra mine don't have that even though for example you say that your organization is working on education but you have an fcra whereas my organization is working on kashmir and all that my fcra is cancelled still i can get the money from you reroute the money from you apart from that i can also get individual payments for which we don't have any regulation so such monies were funded and like this people this ecosystem was integral part of organizing shahin bag bima koragen rohit vemola's death was orchestra you know like the way people orchestrated it they never stood for uh, uh, dalit hindu athlete shanti saundarajan who was kept nude for more than 7 hours in doha asian games where this award wopsy gang went she was working in a brickling for less than 1 and 1/2 dollars where this it is when the point here is that this this present government sponsored to the chan's case to be represented in court of arbitration for sports because of which the rio olympics became the first olympics which took place without sex verification test in sports only women need to undergo sex verification test i mean like of course men do underwent but then like not as much as women you know so the way way the people are humiliated especially these women are humiliated we worked for them so their misplaced priorities never advocated for real change their misplaced priorities is not bringing out any constructive activism their misplaced priorities are kind of you know circling around a kind of a destructive activism and narrative namaste we hope you enjoyed this chitti media content please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar